I'm joined live by our business editor, Ross Greenwood. Ross, economy, economists pretty much across the board expecting a rate rise. The question is, how much will the RBA move by? And this comes, Kieran, after the surprise inflation quarter, uh, or rather inflation in the December quarter, uh, which led some to suggest that the Reserve Bank now seems to be almost behind the curve, even though inflation may have peaked, uh, with uh, inflation rising faster than expected, uh, that the Reserve Bank, there's an argument here to raise rates by a half a percent, not a quarter of a percent today. We'll get this very, very shortly, and as soon as it does, we'll give it to you. But uh, that's where the financial markets have been. The consensus overall is that there will be a quarter of a percent rate rise today. Uh, but as I say, don't hold out the suggestion that there could be a half a percent um, it, because there are many who do say really that the Reserve Bank should be trying to get on top of inflation and you've seen this with the ongoing rises that you've seen particularly overseas in the United States, in Europe and in the United States. Now, the other point is that this is the first decision from the Reserve Bank today. It's just come in. They have raised rates by a quarter of one percent. So there is the breaking news. The Reserve Bank has raised rates by a quarter of 1%. That was broadly where the markets expected them to be today. But they have taken the attitude not to raise these rates by the half percent to aggressively fright inflation. The Reserve Bank also this week is expected to come out with a monetary policy statement and update its forecast. So once we see those statements come out, we'll understand some of the thinking of the Reserve Bank. But quite clearly, the Reserve Bank right now, whose website I'm saying, to you, Kieran, right now is not working. It's gone down. So it'll be just interesting to see what's happened. Mm. But you can see the progression here yeah. of the interest rate rises during that period of time. And so to see the interest rates coming through in this way, here we go. We've got the statement from the Governor, Philip Lowe, just now, obviously pretty busy, saying that they do expect further increases in interest rates coming, uh, that they will be needed in the months ahead. Mm. Uh, and then secondly, also, Kieran, saying they'll be watching the global economy and indeed household spending during that time.